This is your CBS News Baltimore update for Saturday, April 20th. I'm Miana Massey. A new temporary channel northeast of the main shipping lanes in the Patapsco has been established and will provide limited access to the port for commercially essential vessels. Now, this is all according to our media partner, the Baltimore Banner. The Coast Guard said last night that the Fort Carroll temporary alternate channel is expected to help restore roughly 15% of the pre collapse commercial activity to the port. Crews continue to move full steam ahead on salvage operations at the Key Bridge wreckage site. Nearly 400 people are a part of these efforts. Yesterday, Governor Moore announced more help for port workers. He says 58 businesses have already been approved for the worker retention program, which will protect more than 800 jobs. And a new program that will give workers $430 a week will roll out soon. Our mission. Is to help as many people as we can during this difficult time, including port workers who have already applied for unemployment insurance benefits. So far, more than 120 containers have been removed from the Dolly container ship, but the goal is 140. We're also learning about the Montgomery County High School student arrested for an alleged mass shooting plot. Police say 18 year old Alex Yee of Rockville wrote a 129 page document laying out how he carried out the attack. Police records show the suspect claims it was a fictional story, but in other documents he referred to it as his memoir or autobiography. The book was shared with the Baltimore County Police by someone who knew Yee from a stay at a psychiatric facility. They called Montgomery County Police, who then tipped off the FBI and searched his home. During the execution of the warrant, officers were able to read Yee's manifesto, which Yee alleges is fiction. In the document, he, Yee writes about targeting his former elementary school because little kids make easier targets. He strategized on how to access the easiest classrooms in his high school and how he would be able to sneak a gun into the school. He allegedly wrote in his computer that he wanted to be a serial killer and not a mass murderer because serial killers are romanticized a lot more. He is now being held without bond. Following developing news in Prince George's County, police say five people were injured in a shooting in Greenbelt, ranging in age from 16 to 18 years old. One is listed in critical condition and the others are stable. Police say hundreds of students were gathered at a park for a senior skip day event. That's when shots were fired. It's not clear what led up to the shooting. Police are still searching for a gunman. And in Baltimore County, police are investigating a deadly shooting. Officers were called to a complex on Lake Vista Road in Conkeysville. This was on Thursday night. They then found a man who had been shot several times. He died at the hospital. Detectives are working to find what led to this shooting, and an award of up to $2,000 is being offered for any information leading to an arrest. That's our CBS News Baltimore update. I'm Miana Massey.